Many people have asked me to go over an example of finding the interquartile range with an odd amount of data. Here we have nine data points. So let's go through this example. Nine people were asked how many times they had mistakenly said you too to waiting staff in the past year. You know, like when the waiter says enjoy your meal and you say you too. The data is as follows. We want to find the interquartile range. The first step is to put our data in order from least to greatest or greatest to least, assuming that it isn't already given to us in order. Putting this data in order from least to greatest gives us this list of data. Finding the interquartile range of a set of data comes down to finding medians. As long as you know how to find the median of an even or odd number of data points, you should should be good to go. The interquartile range, of course, is the third quartile minus the first quartile. The third quartile is the median of the upper half of data, and the first quartile is the median of the lower half of data. To identify the upper and lower halves of the data, we just separate the data along the second quartile, which is the median of the entire data set. So for an odd number of data points, the median is just the number in the middle. That can be found by alternately crossing off numbers on either side of the list until we come to one number in the middle, and that is our median. And we can verify that this is indeed the median because there are just as many data points below it as there are above it, four below and four above. Now the lower half of our data is all of the stuff below the median, and the upper half of the data is all of the stuff above the median. Then Q1, the first quartile, is the median of the lower half of data. We have an even number of data points in our lower half. Remember, when we have an even number of data points, there won't be a single number that is in the middle of all the data. Instead, there will be two numbers in the middle, and we just take their average, and that is the median of the lower half of data. So the first quartile, the median of the lower half of data, is the average of the two numbers in the middle, the average of one and two. So we add one and two, and then divide by two. That's three divided by two, which is 1.5, so that is our first quartile. And this is the median of the lower half of data because it's halfway in between the two middle numbers. 1.5 is halfway in between one and two. Then we just have to find the third quartile, which is the median of the upper half of data. Again, this is an even number of data points, so to find the median of this upper half, we just take the average of the two numbers in the middle. The two numbers in the middle are six and seven, so the third quartile, the median of the upper half of data, is the average of those two, six plus seven divided by two. That's 13 divided by two, which is 6.5. And so our interquartile range is 6.5, the third quartile, minus 1.5, the first quartile. Thus, the interquartile range of this set of data is five. And there will be a link in the description to my lesson where we find the interquartile range of a set of data that has an even number of data points.